So thank you for having me and thank you for this award. Um, before I start, um, I just want to give a small backstory. Two years back as a material science researcher, when I was introduced to the world of fair data, my first task was to make a schema for scanning electron microscopy. So with uh, much blood and sweat, I managed to make a schema with the help of um, around 25 researchers. This took over a year and it was sitting there. No one was using it. People were not uh, able to uh, find a way to use it or scientists were not really interested in using a schema. They were just happy with their normal lab notebooks and doing the experiments. A couple of months back, a friend of mine, she told me, Ritu, a professor just declared that you have to now store all your experiments in an electronic lab notebook. And now we have to copy and paste from each of the um, windows in our uh, acquisition software and copy them, copy them into the lab notebook. And this is such a pain. Then I thought, this is the moment that I can seize this opportunity and help them to actually extract the metadata from the images and convert it into a map it to the schema so that now their data would also be approaching FAIR and then help them to use it with the electronic lab notebooks or repositories. And then after a couple of months, we have this solution, which is a tool for extracting metadata. So we started with scanning electron microscopy uh, specified to um, the machines which were manufactured by size. So scanning electron microscopy images of the TIFF format, uh, were used and the metadata inside these images were read and then mapped to a schema. So that's the story <laughs> of this work. And to give a small overview, what you essentially have to do is you load your image to give it to the tool. The tool will read your metadata from the image and then map it to, a, um, to the schema. So we have a published schema. So we use the terminology uh, in the schema and map the terminology used inside the metadata of the image. And then you get an output in a JSON format, which is according to the schema. And this can be then used uh, for, the, uh, for further processing or saved in a repository. So we told this, we presented this solution to a scientist and they said, whoa, this is good, this is good, but we are not programmers. We don't want to program, we don't want to run Python. We want something which is clickable uh, that we can, you know, simply click, click, click and get the answers. So for that, we introduced um, a GUI. So this, this is a browser version. So you can see the link here um, or scan the QR code. So and go there and then click map document and then use this particular option to just upload your TIFF image there. And if you click on map document, you get your JSON file as download. So this JSON file will have your metadata. So as you see, just for um, viewing purposes, I have the metadata of uh, from the photo of the image here. And then on in the black snippets, you're seeing the JSON, Im um, the JSON file. As you can see, now EHT is mapped to acceleration voltage on the e-beam source. So this is now coming under the proper schema format. And also you have like more precision when you're directly reading the metadata from the image. And then you have also extra information like this hidden inside the metadata, which is um, not normally visible when you're just, you know, having the image like that. And they were really happy with this. <laughs> and, um, but the problem was, you know, the metadata that you just get from your image is not complete. Sometimes you have to have addition, you have to add additional information like the information ab about your sample. And for this, you have to have some kind of way to view or edit your metadata or add additional metadata. And for that, the ELNs were at that time not really having an easy way to display the data according to the schema, even though it's in JSON, but you still need a template that will view, um, that will allow you to view your metadata according to the schema. So we provided a custom interface uh, for this particular application. So there you can like upload your JSON document, and then you can have this custom interface and review um, your data, or if you want to add certain things, you can add. So 
the sample information and finally download and then use it further. So uh, this is what we offered our researchers and then it was like killing two birds with a, a stone. So people were using the schema and they were getting extracted metadata for further use uh, for their data management purposes. And um, to conclude, yeah. So um, in the first prototype version, we have the SEM FIB TIFF images produced by size. They, we ma managed to successfully extract the metadata out of them and convert it to conform with the schema. And this obviously helped the researchers because they don't now have to manually insert the fields and the output JSON document can be then reviewed or edited um, using the custom interface that we provide. We also work with some ELN developers and now some of them are having um, a sort of um, preliminary version where you can implement the schema itself as a template and then you can work directly with the ELN. Yes, the schema facilitates fair principles. And uh, as future work, we are, managed, we are planning to extend this to metadata from other scanning electron microscopes so by other manufacturers and also those acquired with third party so software. And then also we're planning to extend to other techniques like TEM. So we have a schema and development for TEM. We already have one MRI DICOM extractor come mapper. And then it's also planned to, to um, implement an authentication and authorization interface for this um, GUI, which would be then used in the um, collaborations that we are in. So that's it about my work. I'm really happy to present here and literally I saw during the discussions today how the uh, how these challenges that I faced um, as a researcher in data science as a material science researcher in met, uh, data science was actively discussed and yeah thank you.